Uh, hello everybody, how we doing? This is the random name 951 and I am here to bring you a tutorial on how to transfer any file from your Android device onto your PS Vita using FTP. So first we are going to need the app. We're going to go to our Android Play Store, type in A N D F T P and you will see it up here. This is the free version. It will be sufficient once you download it. Go and open it up. And you will need some extra information. So we're going to go to the phone. So you can see here, I'm on my Vita. We're going to go to Vita Shell. Open that. First thing you want to do is make sure you have FTP enabled for file transfer or yeah FTP file transfer protocol so press start you want to make sure under select button FTP is enabled if FTP is not there just use the analog excuse me the directional pad um, right or left and just get to FTP once you've done that press the start button again and now press select so you're going to want to have your Vita open on this page. You're going to want to type in this 10 digit number. It starts with 192 and the number ends right before the colon starts. Um, that's going to be your host name and the one or the last four digits at the end is going to be your port. So let's now get into the AND FTP application. We're going to set it up um, for the first time because you've probably not used it. As you can see on the bottom, I have a FTP folder and that allows me to connect to my Vita whenever um, I have that FTP server running on my Vita. So you're gonna to wanna to press the plus button on the top. <coughs> and then host name, you're gonna to wanna to type in that 10 digit number. It should start with 192. So I'm gonna type it in. And now all you have to do is type in the port. My port is this. And once you type that in, all you have to do is go down and I will just put enable resume support. That may or may not be there. Um, I do have the premium version. I know that once you buy it, it takes off all the ads and does add an extra, extra feature. But I do not know if that extra feature affects anything or what other extra features it adds. I just wanted to remove the ads. So once you do that, you press OK, and it will say that your settings are saved. Once you do that, you will have this folder. Click that. And you don't have a username or password. I guess you can make one, but um, just press OK. And now I am currently connected to my Vita. So if we go to UXO, and I'm going to be transferring some ROMs. Right now, here's my Super Nintendo Entertainment System folder. I am going to exit the app just to make just to show you guys real quick. Not sure if it's running in the background or not. So I'm going to keep this running in the background. All I have to do is press X. I'm going to go to UXO. I'm going to go back to my ROMs folder. Go to Super Nintendo. And as you can see, there is nothing in there right now. So we are going to go back to the uh, FTP client app and I'm just gonna go back just to make sure I am in <laughs> alright so again we are in our uh, PS Vita kind of directory so how this works is you want to go into the folder that you want the files you're transferring to go to so for instance I'm going to be transferring some Super Nintendo ROMs and I want them to go into my SNES folder. So you want to make sure you're in that folder. I am currently in that folder. Now, to switch to your Android device, there is a little phone icon on the top right. Go ahead and click that. <sighs> okay, so now I'm currently in my directory for my S10+. Plus. So I'm going to go to my ROMs folder I have in here that has most of my ROMs. And you can see I have a Super Nintendo folder and it has all these ROMs on here. So I'm just going to transfer a couple. 
Um, we're going to transfer, let's see here. Oh, heck yes, Super Mario World 2. Yeah, so we're going to click these. And once you see the green check mark, that means those are the files that are selected for transfer. So um, basically, once you see the green check mark, you know those are those ones are checked. <laughs> just just for like you know a note. Uh, we're gonna transfer over. Hmm. Transfer over Mortal Kombat. I'm kind of interested in that. Uh, Killer Instinct. There's two of them. I think this is a legit one right here. And yeah, so we're just going to leave that that for now. Oh, actually. No. Nah. Okay. So once you've selected the, the files that you want to transfer over, like how I did here, we are going to... Okay. Yeah, so once you have the files selected that you want to transfer over we're going to click the top right where it shows that upload arrow the up arrow click that it'll ask you if you want to upload and transfer those folders it'll tell you where they're going to so it's saying it's going to uxo roms super nintendo folder and then once that is what you want just press ok and it will start the upload and transferring as you can see it goes pretty quick to be honest so once that's done, press OK. And now if you want to double check, press the little cloud icon. That will take you back to your Vita. And you can see here it, it shows in my Vita. But just to make sure, I'm going to show you guys that is actually working. So here's my Vita. We're going to go ahead and end the file transfer. And you can see we're in Super Nintendo Entertainment System. There is my games. Just to make sure that I'm going to show you guys by opening RetroArch. And we're going to uh, start up one of the games real quick. And the reason why I want to make this video, I am a big, big advocate, uh, av advocate of uh, using your um, laptop for transferring files. However, <clears throat> sometimes it can be a bit of a hassle you know getting out your computer getting out your laptop and you know having the just being able to do it you know and I, I am a person who likes to be able to you know just chill and with my phone you know my phone honestly has a lot more computing power than my laptop my laptop's about seven years old and it's one of the uh, two hundred dollar laptops you would get at Walmart, you know, just for basic school. Uh, so with my phone, I have over you know a terabyte of storage, where I could put everything on there and just transfer. Um, the only downside is, of course, you need Wi-Fi. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, this isn't gonna work. Um, maybe if you have a hotspot, but I don't have a hotspot to test it on. As you can see here, Killer Instincts booted up. Um, the ROM seems to have transferred fine. Uh, I have yet to test this with a larger file such as an ISO or any kind of PS Vita game. So this for sure will work for VPKs and smaller files like or that are closer to megabytes. But anything under 100 megabytes, I'm not too sure. But I will uh, update you guys in the description of the video and let you know. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Please leave me any comments if you have any questions. If uh, if you if you guys are you know Vita enthusiasts, please um, feel free to share this with any of your um, PS Vita buddies and let them know that you know this is possible. I just want to give a, a quick shout out to Tech James for his video. Um, Learn a lot of stuff from his tutorials and uh, many other people on YouTube such as a. Uh, Nagato's Revenge and uh, I got another buddy named uh, Dave Budness who also does some great tutorials as well and you know just everybody in the Vita community well, until next time guys deuces